Hello awesome person, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, that's awesome, then just welcome to my channel. My name is Joy, I do unboxings, makeup try-ons, and I throw in all kinds of things. Keep you on your toes, and today I am going to be doing a couple of tags that one busy mama has tagged me in. First one I'm going to do is called the YouTuber 20 question tag, and I'm a horrible, horrible person because she tagged me in January of the beginning of this year and I've known about it, told her I was going to do it more than once on different occasions and now, you know, seven months later, almost seven months later. So let's go ahead and start with that one and then when I'm finished, I will tell you the name of the other tag that she tagged me in a few weeks ago, and we'll go from there. So the first question is number one, and that is, um, okay, is do you remember your first makeup item? And honestly, I do not. Like, I mean, I know that I wasn't allowed to wear makeup to school until I was about 11 years old, 11 or 12, but I know I played with makeup prior to that because I'd always get into my mom's makeup and play with hers. I just don't remember an actual age. Number two is describe your perfect fave mascara. And my favorite mascara is by Wonder Beauty Mile High Club. And I don't know, it's just like amazing. I think it gets right into my lashes. Now mind you, I don't have one perfect mascara because I use four to six of them a day. I mean, like today to get my lashes to look halfway decent. Um, so, but my favorite one is the Wander Beauty Mile High Club. Let's see. Number three is what coverage do you prefer from a foundation? And I prefer a um, light, medium buildable coverage. Um, if I'm doing light, I normally do like a BB cream. And if I want a medium buildable coverage, then I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills or um, my ColourPop or something. All right, number four is the favorite high-end brand. Well, hmm, let me think about that. I don't know if I would have like I guess it would be Wander Beauty because I have tried a couple of their mascaras and one of their lipsticks, I think, and I absolutely loved it. So that's high end. And I know that's high end, so I'm going to go with Wander Beauty. All right, because I don't have very many high end brands because I thought I had some and then I found out those are not considered high, uh, high end. Those are considered like mediocre. Like they're not low end, they're not high end, they're like in the middle. Um, number six, favorite drugstore brand. Elf. I love Elf. Um, I use it as often as I can. Number seven, do you wear fake eyelashes? Do you wear fake eyelashes? Yes, ma'am, I do. Not today, but I do. Um, number eight, any makeup you could leave. Oh, any makeup you can't. Number eight, any makeup you can't leave the house without and honestly I can leave the house completely barefaced in my birthday suit you know from like here up or whatever I don't care like I know I'm gorgeous with or without makeup so either I wear it and you can see it or I have nothing on honestly <laughs> number nine most cherished beauty product and that is my um Mm, what is it called? Hip Dot SpongeBob palette that my oldest daughter Ivy got for me. And I, I'm probably going to cherish that forever. I'm going to keep it way out of the, um, like when it's considered to be expired. I'm still going to keep it. Um, hopefully, I'll have that palette next to me the day I die, whenever that will be. Let's see. Number 10 says, How often do you shop for makeup? And honestly, every month because I get like four subscription boxes and three of them usually have makeup in them. Um, or yeah, three of like one's complete makeup, two are box of charm and Ipsy. And then occasionally glossy box throws me in a makeup item. 
including like I am also buying like makeup products at like local stores and drug stores and um, dollar stores so monthly I know we probably have a problem we're not here to talk about that today okay so then number 11 is what type of product do you buy the most and that is eyeshadow palettes I love eyeshadow palettes even though um, I don't love every eyeshadow palette that I have um, but I love eyeshadow palettes. Number 12 says, favorite place to shop for makeup, <laughs> BoxyCharm pop-ups or add-ons. I love it because you can get some of the best makeup for like a little bitty, you know, I never really spend more than $12 on any item and usually it's like nine and under. It just has to be really good to be um, a $12 item and it has to be like a 60 plus value if I'm going to spend $12 because I'm cheap. Okay, top five favorite beauty gurus and I don't even know if I have five. So I have Raw Beauty Christie, I have Nikki Tutorials, I have um, Manny MUA. So no, just three. Those are my three top beauty gurus. I've learned everything from them three. Number 14 is, do you use eyeshadow primer? No, I try not to. I really do. I don't like it. Um, I have found one by e.l.f. and this one right here is like three or four dollars. I think it's four dollars. Four dollars on the e.l.f. website and I actually like it, but you don't get a lot in there. I've only used it a few times and it already feels like it's going empty. And if that's the case, then I'm not going to buy any more. But I do use it if I need to. I do have a few palettes that I have to use, like Morphe, you know, things like that, that you need eye primer with. So I have a few eye primers, even though I don't like them. I use them sometimes. So, um, let's see. Foundation or concealer first. And I normally do... Um, Foundation first, 16 is what do you love about makeup? Oh my goodness, there's so many things that I love. I love the fact that you can change the look of your face. I love the fact that you can bring your beauty out more. And, you know, don't get me wrong, everybody's beautiful without makeup. Like, I know I'm beautiful without makeup, and I hope the rest of you realize that also but some people don't and so but when I wear makeup like I feel like it makes me prettier I feel sexier or more gorgeous you know just depending on what look I do and then there's plenty of days that I don't even wear makeup and I still feel gorgeous and still feel pretty but you know I love that I can make a Christmas look or a Halloween look or a 4th of July look at the snap of my fingers with a couple of palettes and a few products or beauty tools or whatever. I love that. I love just, it's like painting your face. And I love the paint. I ain't so good at it unless you can draw it out. But my face, I can do just about anything with my face. So it's like my canvas. I love makeup. Number uh, 17. Which celebrity has great makeup? Um... I don't, I don't watch TV much, so, um, I remember, like, the TV show Will and Grace, and Grace was always beautiful, so she, she's a celebrity, right? So, yeah, we're gonna go with that, we're gonna go with Grace, because I can remember. Um, if there, number 18, if there was only one brand, what would you use? Um, and honestly, I would use ColourPop, if, um, there was only one brand that I could use, but the question kind of don't make sense because it's like, if there was only one brand, what would you use? So I think it should say, if there's only one brand that you could use, what would it be? So we're going to reword that a little bit and that's going to be ColourPop. And that's only because, um, they have everything for the most part, like every single thing you need and they come out with like a thousand palettes a week so you have plenty of choices for eyeshadow palettes and I'm addicted to the eyeshadow palettes and then they have really good makeup too I love their foundation I love their um, concealer I love their um, blushes and their highlights I don't, I don't like their glosses but I haven't tried one of their actual lipsticks yet so my next color pop order I'm going to and I'm making this way longer than I wanted it to be so number 19 do you try new skincare or keep your routine oh I'm trying new skincare all the time 
so I use my skincare up for the most part unless I get sent like these from um, Influencer and this is um, Clarins and these are really expensive. They give you a seven day trial. Um, it claims that it's going to, um, um, it's, they, it claims that it's radiant boosting, which it is, um, wrinkle control day cream. Mm, mm -mm. My wrinkles are still there. Like I have two days left because they gave me seven samples and I'm pretty sure there's, you know, enough here for seven days too. So I kind of ruined my skin routine for a minute to try that out, to review it, because, you know, if I get something to review, then I have to fit it into my skincare. If not, I use up the skincare I'm using, and then I go do, blah, 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 blah. and then I go to something new, because I'm still trying to find the perfect one, you know? Number 20, drugstore or high-end, and I am a drugstore brat. Like, you can give me... All the money in the world and when i buy most of my makeup i'm going to get it from elf or la colors or la girls or whatever it's called or you know maybelline or covergirl because that's what i always played with until i got boxy charm and ipsy so that is the first 20 questions that took way too freaking long so the next tag that one busy mama tagged me in and this was like three almost four weeks ago and it is the get to know me tag and it is random questions. There are 10 of them. And it says, question one, if you could relive one day in your life, what would it be? August 19th of 1995. That is the day I lost my virginity. I'm probably always going to remember that date, but I wish I could relive that date over and not do it. Number two, your favorite vacation spot. Mm, I mean, I haven't really been on vacation. As an adult, as a child, my parents took me to like, you know, uh, what was that, like Cedar Point and Disney World. I think that's the one that's in Florida and Six Flags. But, you know, I, I can't say it was my favorite because I'd love to go to Jamaica. Number three, if you could visit one of the seven natural wonders of the world, what which would you see? Uh, I don't even know what the natural wonders of the world are. So let me Google that real quick. Natural. Hmm. Pause and I realized I was sweating like a son of a bitch. Okay, um, so it says that the seven natural wonders of the world include the Northern Lights, um, the Grand Canyon, Parasutin, Mount Everest, um, Harbor of Rio de Janeiro, um, Victoria Falls and the Greater Barrier Reef. Um, well, the Northern Lights, I'm close to the Northern Lights. I live in Northern Michigan, so I see them all the time. But I would probably have to go with, um, I don't know, I'm not too into interested in the Grand Canyon. It would be okay to see it. Mount Everest, mm, I feel the only way you'd be able to get a good look at that is if you climbed it. I'm going to go with the Victorian Falls. I've never heard of it but I'm assuming it has to do with water. So we'll go that way. Then it says number five, uh, or not five, four. Number four, if you are walking and see a coin on the ground, do you pick it up? Hell yeah, you do. I mean, sometimes they're glued to the ground and that's super funny, but um, you know, I, I collect change no matter where I find it from. Number five, what is the one thing when you were young you would do again? Um, the one thing I would do everything I did, um, when I was younger again, um, because that's what made me me today, but I don't have just like one thing I can like, you know, be like, oh, this was, you know, such an amazing experience that it like left this memory in my life. I can't do that as, um, a child. All right. And then I have number six. What is a fictional character you would hang out with? And that would be... Hmm, everybody on The Walking Dead. Every one of them. Because that's my favorite movie, show, whatever it's called. Number seven, when you go out to eat, do you order something new or order the same thing? Well, um, if it's a restaurant that I've already eaten at, the same thing. If I go someplace that I've never eaten at, then something new. 
Eight, do you prefer all seasons or hot? And I'm going to tell you right now, none. Like, I don't prefer all seasons and I don't prefer hot. I would love to, like, find an area where it's, like, 65, 70 degrees, like, all year long, and I would move there. I mean, there might be a place like that in another country or something. I just haven't figured it out yet. So if you know, let me know because <laughs> this hotness and coldness is become BS. Um, number nine, name one food that if you did not have to worry about calories, you would eat. I've never worried about calories. That's why I'm probably a little fat, but I eat whatever I want. But the main food that I eat is chocolate. So chocolate, anything. Then at number 10, what is an anti-bucket list that you did but won't do it again? Nothing. I've never had a bucket list. I'm never going to have a bucket list. I think it's cool that some people do. Um, but for me, I don't... <laughs> I take one day at a time. I, I like to plan for like trips, you know, and vacations. If I went on a vacation or if I was like going, you know, to like... Um, a lake or something. I do like to plan for that, but to plan like a really far ahead in my life, I can't. I can't do that because that's all I'm going to think about and I'm going to do anything else. But alrighty, I think I have kept you long enough and I'm tired of sweating. So I am going to tag nobody, but if you are a content creator and you have not done these tags and you're like, man, I wish somebody would tag me. Well, today is your lucky day. I tag you. I will leave all of the questions down in the description box along with One Busy Mama's channel up here and down below. Hope you have a wonderful day. Remain awesome and peace out. Awesome crew.